seller financing definition. What is seller financing? Seller financing is the real estate agreement in which the seller handles the mortgage process instead of a financial institution. Instead of accepting for a applying for a conventional bank mortgage, the buyer signs a mortgage with the seller. The se seller financing is also known as owner financing and the purchase money mortgage. Seller financing rises and falls in popularity along with the tightness, along with the regular tightness of the credit market. Your entitles and banks are risk averse and reluctant to lend money to any but the most cred credit worthy borrowers. Seller financing can make it possible for many more people to buy homes. Overall relation ruling government. Overall tightness. Seller financing, make for, uh, seller financing may also make it easier to sell a home. Conversely, when the credit markets are immersed and banks are enthusiastically lending money, seller financing has less appeal. Often, seller financing includes unrestrained, unrestrained, or unrestrained. Uh, eventually, lending money, seller financing has less appeal. Often, seller financing includes a balloon payment several years after the sale. Advantages to seller financing. Buyers attract to seller financing after you those finding it difficult to get a conventional loan. Perhaps due to poor credit on like a bank mortgage, seller financing typically involves few or no closing costs or may not require an appraisal. Sellers are often more flexible than a bank in the amount of down payment. Also, the seller financing process is much faster, often selling within a week. For sellers, financing the buyer's mortgage can make it much easier to sell a house during a down real estate market and when credit is tight buyers may prefer seller financing moreover sellers can expect to get a premium for for to finance for offering to finance offering to finance meaning they are more likely to get their asking price in a buyer's market this is one of seller financing the, the drawback for buyers is they will almost certainly pay higher interest than the chief account oh the chief drawback higher investment interest than the for market rate mortgage from a bank financial institution has more flexibility in changing the interest rate charge through offering non conventional loans long term the higher seller offered interest could wipe out the property gained from avoiding closing cost buyer will still need to demonstrate their ability to pay back the loan as with any real estate purchase it will also pay for a title search to make sure the deed is accurately described in free from encumbrances other charges may have to pay include survey fees document in document prints and taxes like a bank sellers find it face the risk of borrower default but they must meet this risk alone they don't have a staff of employees to chasing down delinquent payments and filing foreclosure notices if the buyer stops paying also an offering present offering present offered chase down delinquent if the buyer stops paying their seller could incur hefty legal fees as well a court might order the buyer to reimburse this cost but if the buyer is bankrupt they will not happen that will not matter if the seller still has a mortgage note on the property it probably has a due on sale clause or an alienation clause these clauses require full full repayment of the current mortgage when the property sells all this also means that both sides should employ experienced real estate attorneys to draft the paperwork to close the deal and make sure that all eventualities are covered